a very warm welcome to all of you i hope you are doing good in this pandemic and uh, today in this session i'm going to make a rotor blade which is of a defiant x helicopter of uh, lockin martin and before starting this session i recommend you to have a grab, grab a cup of tea or a coffee to focus more and uh, can understand things better further you need to download this pdf file from the description link below okay those who don't have the adobe reader or a kind of files they can they can download this pictures which is uh, are here you can see one of a jpg file and one is of a ti format okay further you need to download this this two excel sheets from the description link so it helps to uh, make error file shapes like the coordinates and export it to the kata v5 software okay further going on open this th these two things okay and click on enable editing so you can uh, edit the content okay and then uh, press the click click on enable content also okay further you can see this is the this is the file where we can uh, get the coordinates of uh, four digit naka series okay so put the coordinates and you can see the corresponding changes are happening at the right side right hand side of your screen okay so i'm just uh, going for a 4412 which is a unsymmetrical error file okay so i'm just uh, copying this coordinates control c or you can click on right click and go further and uh, there's a uh, another file okay so you need to just paste it here right right click paste by the values okay and uh, it is it is up to 25 so further we need to paste it paste it uh, at the position of 26th okay so make sure you are doing the correct things okay i'm just uh, copying this thing okay and going on further pasting out on 26th number okay so as i can see the coordinates are till 50 49 okay so you need to delete this 50 things uh, for the for the 50 coordinates okay that that's it all it's all set okay export to catium make sure you have open your kata v5 software okay write the naka 4412 rotor blade okay so it will it is ex exporting this all coordinates into the kata v5 software so, okay so as you see i i'm getting all the coordinates into the kata v5 software okay and make sure you are in the generative wireframe and surface design i'll show you like this one and delete this last point okay So I'm now going for start mechanical design and generative surface design. Okay, I'm already into it, but if you are got into part design, you need to convert it because we are going to make a surface design. So for that we need to be in a surface module. Okay. So now going for the command called spline and carefully selecting each of the points. Okay, step by step, very very uh, ca carefully select the points. And one can go for this also, like the numbers are which are which are displayed on the left hand side of your screen. So you can click on that also. Okay, so by the time we reach to the one, we got to know that we have reached to the middle, middle of it. Okay now selecting the points again step by step and you can right click and scroll it over so you can select in a box also like this and the last one okay so now we are going to uh, for the command called scaling Scaling is basically used to uh, modify or to enlarge the existing 
dimensions okay so as we know this is all under 1 mm okay so now we are going to uh, make things bigger okay so selecting the uh, spline selecting the uh, vertical axis now we are going to give the ratio which which is 500 okay this is the chord length okay if you wish to have a smaller chord length you can go for smaller one okay so now we are going for a horizontal axis hiding these things okay and now we are going for hide all the points okay so we can see the Naka 412 the unsymmetrical airfoil that, that we have made and uh, further going on so the distance from this to this is 3 to 5 0 mm okay so coming up here going for the translate command so it helps to translate the geometry to the another plane or another dimension okay so i'm going for command called translate here okay selecting the axis and now going for the 3250 mm okay once, once again 3250 mm okay and now so selecting the okay previous okay so now I'm going to make a middle a middle cross section okay so that gives the curve to the blade okay so again going for the scaling command so selecting the airfoil going this time I'm going for the ratio that, that is 1.2 okay same process again sele selecting that airfoil going for scaling and selecting this time selecting the horizontal axis the basic idea is to hide the vertical one now so select selecting this and hiding this one okay i'm just tra translating it to the further like selecting the axis which is the front one xy plane and going for 1700 mm okay so these are the dimensions that i have chosen by myself okay so you can go for anything that you wish to do okay now going further now we are going to make a further uh, an another section which is of uh, from the length of 3950 as you notice this is somewhat deviated from the center line okay so for that we need to go for the command called transfer again giving the deviation or the shift from this from, from the central axis okay selecting the axis and going for 195 okay as it is from the uh, negative side and hand side so we are getting the giving the dimension as negative 195 mm okay selecting the airfoil going for the which is or uh, dimension is 3950 mm okay so things are very looking here cool right, right now and now hiding the previous one so now going for the next one which is of 400 mm the basic idea here is to get the 400 mm from the 500 mm chord length of a aerofoil let me show you how to do that thing okay so idea is to go for scaling here okay and this time i'm going to give the ratio is 0.8 okay so 500 into pointed which is equal to 400 mm okay so selecting the plane going again going for um the first first the vertical plane again the horizontal plane with the same dimension of 0.8 ratio okay hiding the previous one this one okay and now translating it uh, translating it to the dimension first of all first of all we need to deviate from the center line okay which is 
450 mm the planes are plays a play, plays a very important role here select, select the plane very carefully here okay now just uh, translating it there are the two most commands are used here which is a scaling and an another is uh, translating okay now going for translate give the dimensions from the uh, draft sheet which is um as we know 4250 okay 4250 mm select the plane and uh, dimension is 4250 from the central axis okay so the cross sections are much more displayed here now going on further the last thing remaining is the last one the connector to the ro rotor okay so we are going to make that thing also here and as we know the cord length is 400 400 mm again here and the distance from the central is the 500 mm okay so selecting the airfoil going for the scaling command and this time again we are using the 0.8 as a ratio selecting the airfoil going for horizontal plane 0.8 same okay hide the previous one this this is very simple process okay just you need to do is focus and uh, repeat the process if you get stuck into some place and this and the, and the distance is 500 mm but it is also statically divided from the center axis so for that we need to select the plane okay the vertical plane and give the dimension as 150 giving the dimensions as 150 mm okay now it's done i'm just hiding the previous one okay going for the uh, the translate command selecting the plane giving the negative fine red so it will go at the back side like this preview so just hiding the previous one and now i'm going for the multi section surface the cross section part is done have, we have made the cross sections okay and now we are going to connect it with the command called multi surface sections okay so i'm just selecting this two profiles only here because of we don't want a curvature okay if we select one more we get a curve like like this here okay we are going to select this first one this second one and the third one because we want a curvature here okay so this is how this command works if you want to clear an edges so select the only two profiles at a time like i have done it here again the same preview okay and this time we are going to fill the areas which is open ends with the command called fill so select the command up there or you can go for insert also preview okay one at a time okay second one click select the surf uh, the area okay that's it so this is our deviant sorry defiant x helicopter rotor blade you can see the pictures on google also and uh, i'm just hiding this scalings so to it it will look better and uh, now i'm going to make a domain for this so you can test it or analyze or do your analysis in ansys software or any on any other okay so to make that thing we need a domain domain is basically used to make the flow over an over over an component okay so for that we need we need to make a space okay so for that i'm just drawing a on a on a plane with a circle on it like this and make sure you are you are leaving some space between the 
component and the circle so it will fit into it okay so coming back from the sketch and we are going to command call extrude so extrude will uh, like it will drag the surface over uh, around the rotor blade okay so i mean to give 5000 uh, mm on the either sides okay preview okay so now just uh, closing it with the command called fill again so the idea is this is our inlet and this is our outlet if you have any questions uh, regarding this you can comment it down below or if, if you want to learn something new you can go for um, at my uh, software uh, at my sorry channel you can visit and learn more designs from there okay so I'm just hiding the extra parts here, the extra sorry, the the drawings and the scaling parts here, and also yeah, if you want to learn the aircraft wing design fully, like with the stringes and spars, you can click up here at the I button and go for it, because learning is never we like we never used to go, get bored while while learning the new things. Okay. So my idea is to get learned and implement the things in a real life. Okay, so the, so designing is the is the first part that one can learn first. Okay, so for that going on, so I'm just saving it. Okay, with the rotor blade, make sure you uh, make make sure you uh, give the stress on the type of a of the file because it's a cat file so it will op op open only in cat here if you want to open in the uh, ansys you can go for igs file okay so i just will give the what's say the format for the cat uh, for the ansys only okay so you can import the that uh, what's a geometry into the ansys and go on further analysis okay so i hope you can enjoy this video and hope like the and like this video and subscribe to my channel okay further um if you help if you if you find this is helpful share to your friends and comment down uh, comment down what you like with in this video and what you expect from this video furthermore from me okay and uh, see you then